and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today, I hope to make holding pattern entries much easier for you with a, another method that I use to try to teach people how to figure out what holding pattern entry they should be making. I have another video about holding pattern entries and drawing holding patterns, so please check out those. I can link to those in the description. But for now, let's get started with holding pattern entries. There are three standard holding entries as described in AIM, or the Aeronautical Information Manual. Now, if you take a look at these patterns individually, we have parallel, and that is the first one um, that I'm going to talk about. I like to think of a holding pattern like a pie. So if you notice, I have a piece of the pie that is cut by a long line that goes right through the middle of the pie. The smaller piece of the pie, we call the parallel piece of the pie. Okay, so there's my parallel area. And we can cut that pie by basically, here is my holding fix that the pattern is centered around, we'll color that in. I've got a line that is coming straight out from that fix, and then I have this other parallel drawing line that goes right through the middle of the pattern. Okay, so the parallel entry works, and we use that if our airplane is in this area labeled parallel. So if my airplane is over here, or my airplane is approaching the fix from this direction, or we're up in this direction, what we are supposed to do is we fly to the fix, draw the fix again there, we fly to the fix, we then fly parallel on slightly on the wrong side, very slightly on the wrong side, opposite the traffic flow, and then we would turn the airplane back around, going inbound, and then proceed to the fix and enter our holding pattern. Now, don't worry about flying what I called opposite the traffic flow because in a holding pattern, ATC is going to give you separation and they're going to assign you holding at your altitude. If anyone else is in the holding pattern, they would be at a different altitude, not at your same altitude. So that's not a concern for us. So that is how we do a parallel entry. Okay, let's move on to the teardrop entry. If I cut my piece of the pie like this, Parallel gets a fairly mediocre piece, but the people down in sector B, or what we call the teardrop area, down in this area, they didn't get any of the pie at all. Sad. And we cry a little teardrop because we didn't get any of the pie. This is sad. Okay, maybe that will help you remember it, but when I cut my holding pattern pie, teardrop gets nothing. Okay. So if our aircraft is approaching from anywhere in this area down here, we are coming in from the teardrop side and we call it a teardrop also because of the direction my airplane flies when doing the entry. So we're gonna fly at about a 30 degree angle off of my inbound leg and then I am going to turn the airplane back around and fly inbound to the fix which produces that teardrop shape. That is a teardrop entry. Okay, now what about the big pie, right? The big pie is way over here, the beautiful huge piece of pie. Basically I got over half of the pie when I cut up my holding pattern pie and that is a direct entry. So anytime an aircraft is approaching the holding pattern from this direction, anywhere in this area, I'll just draw a few airplanes, we fly straight to the fix in the most direct way possible. When we hit our fix, then we just begin flying the holding pattern as directed. So direct entry is probably the easiest and my personal favorite because I am kind of a lazy pilot. All right, now I promised I would show you how to figure out our holding pattern entry. So we'll do some practice drawing and then we'll do a little help for figuring out how to enter the holding pattern. Okay, first holding pattern clearance. Hold west of the Gregg County VOR on the 270 degree radial. Expect further clearance, they gave us a time. So good job for them. So how do I draw it? Let's practice. We take the fix, we draw a line going the direction the holding pattern says. So this one they said hold west, so I draw a line going west. 
I go back to my fix, and then I think, is it a right or a left turn? Since ATC did not specify, I know a standard holding pattern is right turns. So at the fix, I'm going to make a right hand turn, like so. And now I can draw the rest of the holding pattern there. Okay, I could label that fix GGG if I wanted to. All right, so there is my holding pattern. Now, how am I going to do the holding pattern entry? So here is what I recommend for helping you on this. I just take my tablet, if I've drawn on like on my scratch pad on Garmin Pilot or Forflight or it's a piece of paper, I just take the paper and I turn it so that my airplane is going up toward the holding fix. So I've turned my paper. How am I going to draw that pie? Let's draw a line coming straight out. Okay, and now I'm going to cut the pie. Remember we were cutting the pie before. Draw a line about through the pie like that. And if I didn't get any pie, I'm sad, so I cry a teardrop. There's teardrop. If I got the smaller piece of the pie, I'm in the parallel entry area. And if I got the big piece of the pie, I'm in either of these sectors for the direct entry. So in this case, I can see that I can fly a direct entry to my holding pattern. Okay. All right. So let's try, let's try another example. Let's practice drawing and just follow along here. This time it says hold north. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line holding north of the fix. On the 360 degree radial, it doesn't say anything about turns. So I go back to my fix. I make a right hand turn, something like this. Okay. And then I can draw the rest of my holding patterns like that. And I did get an expect for their clearance time. So that's good. Okay. So there's my holding pattern labeled Laura. There really is a fix called Laura, by the way, it's in Dallas actually. So that's my holding pattern. But Again, I recommend that we turn the paper around before we start trying to cut the pie. That way we can always cut the pie the same way and it really helps me with figuring out how to do my entry. So I'm turning my pie around so that my airplane is going up toward that fix, toward the fix. All right, so let's draw the line coming out here. Okay, so we draw the line and then we are going to draw another line to cut up the holding pattern just like before. And we have a teardrop area. Okay, we have the parallel area and we have the direct area here. So we can see if we're approaching from where the airplane is, we would be flying a parallel entry in this example. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's try another one. All right, let's try another one. So on this case, it says hold south of the listener fix on the 180 degree radial. Expect further clearance at 11230. Okay, so we hold south so we can draw that. It doesn't say anything about turns. So we're making a right turn. Practice with our drawing. Draw my holding pattern fix. Ooh, that's a little square. Whoops. Okay, so we get something like this. This one's really cool, actually. I don't even have to turn the paper. My airplane, my holding pattern is drawn, so it's already going up toward the fix, actually. So let's practice drawing the holding pattern cuts. Okay, so I'm going to make a line going out here. You can probably already see what kind of holding pattern this is going to be for my entry because I have found myself in that little area where I'm not cutting into the holding pattern pie at all. Teardrop sad. Okay. Here is my parallel area and here is direct and direct down there. Okay. Now I want to do one more example about that so we can talk about what if the holding pattern in the same example except for I'm going to change one thing. We're going to make left turns. I got to redraw my holding pattern. All right, so we're holding south. So I go to the fix. I draw a line going south. I'm going to make left turns. So I go to the fix and make a left turn, such like that. I can make a rest of my holding pattern. Okay, so here is my example holding pattern, left turns. All right, so now let's again, let's draw 
the lines for my holding pattern. Again, I don't have to turn the paper because I'm going straight up toward the fix. So let's draw the line cutting like that. Okay, now I want to stop and point out something important. When we are making left turns, you have to be careful when you draw the line through the holding pattern. We can't draw it where we used to be, where we have been drawing it. We actually have to draw it again so we cut the holding pattern appropriately, but now you will notice teardrop is on the opposite side. And parallel is over here on the opposite side and direct is down there, okay? So if we are doing a left turn holding pattern, we flip how we're cutting it. But notice I'm still cutting like the same type of angle through the middle of the holding pattern. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Okay, so now we have to do a parallel entry just because the holding pattern changed its direction of what turns were made. And let me go back and just do a comparison um, so you can see that on the previous example. So there was the previous example with right turns, okay? Um, and you can see where teardrop and parallel and the line that I drew have actually switched. So there's the opposite way with left turns. All right, one more example for us to try today with left turns, so follow along. Here we have a holding pattern that says hold east. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing a line to the east on the Gregg County VOR on 090 radial, five DME legs, left turns. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my line holding east. I'm supposed to make left turns, so I go to the VOR and make a left turn draw the rest of my pattern and I am going to label these legs 5 DME. I also want to point out one other thing. They didn't give me my EFC. Ah! So I'm a good instrument pilot. I'm going to ask ATC for an expect further clearance before I accept this hold clearance. We need that expect further clearance. Okay, back to the holding pattern and figuring out our entry though. Once I've got my expect further clearance. Okay, so um, here is my holding pattern that I've drawn. We're going to once again turn that holding pattern so we're flying up toward the fix. And now I'm going to divide up my pie again. Notice it was left turns, so we got to be careful. Okay, so I'm going to draw my line straight up here. I'm going to cut my holding pattern accordingly. There we go. We have the piece here for parallel. We have the tiny piece with no holding pattern, teardrop, no pie. And then we have direct down here. Now, at this point, I notice my airplane is on the line between teardrop and parallel. And what AIM says is now we are allowed as pilot's discretion to choose, do I want to do teardrop? Do I want to do parallel? Entirely up to me. I can do either and both would be perfectly fine in this example. So I hope you guys got to practice work on those holding pattern entries. I have other videos. If this method does not make sense to you, I have another method called the thumb method, and I will link to that video in the description. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos about instrument flying and airline operations and regulations explained, and have a great day.